He called me from the school and when he got there. The next phone call that I got later in the day was from his principal to tell me that the accident had happened. And so I got on the phone and she just said, Danielle, um, I was calling to let you know that there was an accident today on the field trip. She said there was a landslide today and Devin is buried and that's all we know. I thought nothing. My mind just went blank and I said, what? And she repeated it and I said, what? We just flew down there. We just left our house and went straight down there to the site. Um, I woke up and I felt like something on my side, on my face, and then I, I couldn't get out to get up. And my teacher said not to move, and I didn't move for a while. And I told my teacher, where's my mom? And she said, she's not here right now. She said, a whole bunch of dirt that fell on you and a couple kids. I said, Miss Riker, get me out. Miss Riker said, I am trying to. One of the firefighters laid over the top of him and took a boulder to his head um, to protect Devin. His teacher, um, when the accident happened, the only reason how she found Devin was she saw a little bit of his hair sticking out of the mud. His hair was a lot longer than this, and we were actually supposed to cut his hair the night before, and we didn't get around to it. They told me it was a lot of heavy mud, um, and that's what broke his ribs, was the pressure, um, and collapsed both of his lungs because it was so wet and heavy that that's what was essentially crushing him under, and he was, he was completely submerged. He's been doing all right, but um, my leg, it's getting better now, but I still have to have this on. I really don't like it on. It never crossed my mind that anything was going to happen. You know, you expect your children to be taken care of when they go to school, and you expect them to be safe. 